a row and you have your colon. So you have a table of numbers. Of course, rows is supposed to score better than Sunday. <laughs> so let's say rows scored five in English language and scored 10 in math. Sunday scored two in English language, scored one in math. This table of numbers can be represented using a matrix. You can use a square bracket or you can use braces, but it's advisable that you work with square brackets. This is the same as this. We only represented this using a table while we represented this using a matrix. I want you to take note of what your rows and colons are. This is your row. The simplest way I can tell you this is, imagine them laying down, that is your row. Now imagine them standing, that is your colon. Please take notes. So you have your row and you have your colon. This way, those are the rows, and this way, those are the colon. It's mostly called two by three. Why? You have to call the number of rows before the number of colons. So of course you see that we have two rows and we have three colons. Please take note. So it's two by three. Are we good? Okay. Whenever you hear linear algebra, just know that you're about to learn vectors, matrices, and systems of linear equation. If you recall, we treated systems of linear equations where we told you about the various methods in which you can solve two or more equations at the same time. What is a matrix? If you need to know more about a matrix, the types of matrices, go to the YouTube channel. But in simpler terms, okay, a matrix is a case where you have table of numbers, okay? You have rows and colon. So if you've worked with Microsoft Excel, you've worked with Google Sheet, you should know what tables are, you should know what colons, rows are,